All right, kids. Gather around for an exciting story about how a very old weaving machine called the Jacquard Loom that helped pave the way for the computers we use today. The Magic Weaving Machine Once upon a time, in the early 1800s, there was a clever inventor named Joseph Marie Jacquard. He lived in France and loved making beautiful fabrics with intricate patterns. But weaving these patterns by hand was super hard and took a lot of time. So, Jacquard thought, what if there was a way to make the loom, a machine used for weaving, do all the hard work? The brilliant idea. Jacquard came up with a brilliant idea. He invented a special loom that used punch cards. Imagine a card with lots of tiny holes punched in it. Each hole told the loom which threads to lift and which to leave down. By changing the punch cards, the loom could weave different patterns automatically. It was like magic. The birth of programming. Now, here's where it gets really cool. These punch cards were like the first computer programs. They gave the loom instructions, just like how we give computers instructions today. This idea of using punch cards to control a machine was so smart that it inspired other inventors. Enter Charles Babbage. One of these inventors was Charles Babbage, who was often called the father of the computer. He saw how Jacquard's punch cards worked and thought, hey, I can use this idea to create a machine that can do calculations. So, he designed a machine called the Analytical Engine, which used punch cards to perform different tasks. This was one of the earliest concepts of a computer. From weaving to computing. The punch card system didn't stop there. It was used in early computers to input data and instructions. Even though we don't use punch cards anymore, the idea of giving machines instructions to perform tasks is still the foundation of how computers work today. The Legacy So, thanks to Jacquard's magical weaving machine, we have the concept of programming and computers. His invention showed that machines could follow instructions to do complex tasks, which is exactly what our computers do every day. And that's the story of how a weaving machine from the 1800s helped create the amazing computers we use today. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs>